So I have the keyboard extension to the Huck and Continuum fingerboard completed. This is the invention of Peter Pringle who devised this uh, amazing thing. And basically what it does is instead of using your fingers to play the fingerboard, uh, you get a MIDI keyboard that fits the uh, fingerboard I used a uh, Impulse 49 by Novation, which fits very, very well to the half size continuum without having to cut anything apart the way Peter does with his full unit. And if I just lift it up, it's on a hinge so that when I lift it up, I can put it back to the same place each time. You can see that there are blocks underneath each of the keys, and there are pins that are glued to those blocks that are uh, adjusted to the right place to tune them to be the right note that you're looking for. So I have it completed now and I love it. It, uh, it does exactly what Peter says it does and, and more actually because if you just want to use it as a keyboard, even though it wasn't intended that way, it, it was intended to be a, uh, an adjunct to the fingerboard to play things that are difficult to play, like fast runs and arpeggios that are extremely difficult on the fingerboard. But I find that I just like to play it the way it is, uh, bring up a sound that's uh, appropriate for the keyboard, and just play away. You, you, you don't have to press you don't have to press hard at all to get a note out. And of course, because it's pressing the fingerboard, um, you can get very nice dynamic change going on here. And uh, also because of the uh, you can get very nice um, articulations going on. Uh, I have it set for a quantized patch here. Um, a little later we'll bring up one that <coughs> is not quantized and you can see you can even get portamento between adjacent notes with this thing because the, the fingerboard's averaging note positions and it, it's just an extremely versatile and expressive um, addition to the continuum. Everyone should really think about making one because I think it's going to allow you to do things you just can't do otherwise. Now as I said, I just like playing playing it sometimes. I have an organ patch here that's quantized that I brought up and I just like to fool around on it because uh, it, it, it's fun. <laughs> I can play chords so easily on this thing. Um, very fast runs. Uh, arpeggios. You can do anything you can do on a keyboard with this. The only limitations are, of course, um, you're going to have polyphony limitations on the patches that you bring up on your continuum. And at least for the one that I created, I don't know how Peter gets uh, polyphonic semitones out of his, but I can on mine. I can get major seconds. But to get a minor second, um, I'm not sure why I can't when he can, but I'll have to look into that. Now, there are a few things I did here that I want to... I want to redo all the pins when you put them have to be exactly even in the same at the same height or else when you play scales uh, you might find some notes are a little bit um, lower in volume than others if you're playing at the same pressure uh, you really need to be a perfectionist when you make this thing um, but other than that 
uh, even slight things off here or there. Um, it, it, it's just amazing to have this uh, available. But as Peter said, uh, uh, this really is intended to be an adjunct to the fingerboard, not a replacement for it. So to do that, you really want to bring up some kind of patch that can, uh, you can hear that on. Let's bring up the string patch. All right. Now we can do things that really make um, both the fingerboard and the keyboard shine. Um, one of the things I like to do with the fifth, with the keyboard is to just use it to play chords because it's very, very easy to play uh, chords on this thing, whereas playing chords on the on the fingerboard is very difficult. You have to be exact where your fingers are, and it's very easy to uh, to have, uh, have have problems. Uh, so, uh, what I think y you should practice doing when you have one of these things, let me set it for a little bit of quantization here, um, is you can uh, just play some chords on the fingerboard and accompany yourself and just noodle around and do things that you could never do without a ton of practice practice uh, if you could do it at all uh, on the fingerboard itself So you can see how you can kind of effortless, effortlessly transition between the fingerboard and the keyboard with a little bit of practice. do it right, you really can't tell you're going between the fingerboard and the, uh, the keyboard. The only difference is you can play some amazingly fast passages now and ornate stuff that's very difficult to do on the fingerboard. So I really have to say, uh, Peter's posted instructions on how he made his. I've put up some tips on what I did uh, for mine on the Facebook Hawken Continuum site. If you have a continuum, um, don't just think the fingerboard is your only uh, inspiration here. Having the keyboard as an adjunct to the fingerboard really is a wonderful thing. <laughs>